Our first guest is a very funny lady who's the co-creator and vocal wizard behind a certain soft-spoken, sensitive, shoe-wearing seashell. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> now she takes him to the big screen in the movie Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. It opens in New York and L.A. Friday and nationwide July 15th. Please say hello to the very funny Jenny Slate. <laughs> I just felt like we had a go-go dance. Well, we did. Right? What did you feel about that? That's adorable. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I Where'd really... you pick that little number up? You know what? I, my stylist, Monty Jackson. Oh, Monty. Monty, he said, I think you should wear this. I said, yes. And then I had never practiced sitting down in it. And now I'm just hoping that these feathers are covering up what they need to cover. <laughs> well... Oh, oh. We're in. I can. I can see. Well, she's, it's, she's in. It's a. It's. 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 It doesn't matter if it's covered or not. It's still beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Are you a doctor? <laughs> yeah. I can be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wait. What's weird is uh, uh, we just interviewed you on the podcast Smart List. Yes. And that came out like today or last week or something. Yes. It came out last week. I don't remember. I think it did. I think, yeah. I think I, it did. Because my sister was like, oh my God, I love Jenny Slate. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. She, you got to meet her. She's funny. Um, but wait, we, we, we did this interview on Smartless, and you okay. were like in a tiny like broom closet or something. I was in a supply closet. You're in a supply closet. And yeah. why and where? First of all, let me say, I said I, I'm in a supply closet, and everybody was like, <laughs> Right. And then, like an hour in, somebody came in. To the supply to, closet. like, get a broom. Yes. And you guys were like, what was that? And I was like, I'm in a supply, supply closet. closet. <laughs> I told you guys that I am. Yeah. Yeah, I was in a supply closet because I live in a small town in Massachusetts and I have very bad Wi-Fi at my house. Yeah, clearly. Really bad, <laughs> yeah. Really bad. So my husband owns the general store. I know in our there's town. a thousand questions going on with that. I know. That. I yeah. wear this there every day. <laughs> um, Just pushing a tiny cart. Yep. Yeah, I got. Your... I bought this there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and oh, you have dressing rooms there too. Oh yeah. No, it's all the supply closet. Wait. So a general store. How did your husband? What and you and you own it and why do you live there? And oh my god. Sure. For sure. All of that. And you're right. Yeah. Um, so he and his brother uh, bought the oldest general store in. The United States, and see because when you say that, I, I pick. Know. Yeah, why not? Right, sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, why not? Because when you say that, I picture a little house on the prairie, and like it's barely being held up by plywood. Like, is that what it looks like? It's a beautiful old. It looks like a big old yellow house. It's actually very darling. And, oh well, I and does wonderful. sound darling, by the yeah, way. Yeah, but the office for some reason has a, like a toilet in it. <laughs> and so when I was doing your podcast, they've put a desk in there to make it be an office, but they put it over, over the toilet. They put the desk over the toilet? Yeah, and so I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is such a great podcast and it's so popular and I feel so honored. And then I was sitting there and I was like, right in front of me is an open uh, toilet. <laughs> Yeah. But under the desk. Under so the desk. So you have to go, I have to go to the bathroom like that? Is that what it is? I don't think, well, they have another bathroom that's functional. That toilet is, is retired. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. And you know, that's a sign of, of success when you're doing a podcast in a supply closet in front of a retired toilet. Wait, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with this general store oh, and I, I want to yeah, go. Yeah. Wait, so uh, how involved are you? Do you, you don't work there, do you? Like... No, I mean I don't. I don't work in the general store, no. but um, because because you guys own it, so I figured like you have to, you know, do like old, you know, old school like you right. know, like one of those. Yeah, yeah, like and adding machines and like, yeah. but you don't do any of that. No, I don't. I don't do any of that, but I do like spend, you know, my money at their bar. Do oh, they have a bar. In the general store. <laughs> yeah. For the public to come and drink. For sure. Do you, do you get a discount? I don't use it. I don't use it. But you do get a discount. I could. Well, then what's the point of having it? Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use it because I feel like it's like I should pay full price. Yeah, because and give you own customer. it. That's a weird thing to like buy something from a place that you own because it just goes right back. It's so. I actually feel really bad about that. That I'll always be like, "Hun, when you're at the store, can you get like this, that, and that?" And then my husband's just like paying his money to his own right. store. Right. You just take. Doesn't he just take it, put it in a bag, and go? Yeah, but yeah. you know, we're people, honest, honest people. And then the cops show up. You're like, "You're stealing." Yeah. So wait, are you recognized there when you go there? Here's the thing, like, not fully. Okay. Like, it's like, I don't know, I mean, not that I'm like, they should, I, I don't feel that way about, I hardly recognize myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, her again. <laughs> I well, like, not in a small broom closet. No, not. no, yeah. yeah. I see myself in the mirror in the broom closet. I'm like, isn't she the one from like the thing? Um, but yeah. anyway, they, look, <laughs> this last week, first of all, it's always Broad City. For the last ten years, they've what? all like people, people are like, I love you, and I'm like, thank you, and they're like, I love Broad City, and then I just say, thank you, I, because I also love it, but I've never been on that show. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you ever, have you ever signed like uh, thanks, and you just sign the person? You know, one time someone chased me down the street and they were like, I need this! And it was like a picture and I was like, oh my God, I better sign it. And it was the picture of uh, the actress Michaela Watkins. Oh my gosh, I know her. Yeah, she's wonderful. We don't, you know, we're not the same at all. No, yeah. I don't think you, you're both gorgeous, but you don't look anything like. Yeah. So Father's Day, tell me what happened. Wasn't there like a mix up I heard about like, he couldn't, y'all couldn't be together on Father's Day or something? So here's what happened, which is, very, like, annoying. But I gave my husband lovely presents. I felt that the day was going really well. And we were in New York for the premiere of the Marcel the Shell movie. Yes, I can't wait, which we're going to talk about next segment, but it's amazing. Coming out soon. But anyway, um, he, I had to get on the plane to come here, and he was supposed to go pick up a rental car with our, and, like, left our baby um, with our cousin. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you're like, what is she about to say? <laughs> Wait. What? I fully snotted just even thinking about my baby being lost in the city. <laughs> Throw up all over my white Home Alone five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big time. Um, but so uh, he went to go get the rental car, and I had it reserved with a car seat because the baby, you know, you can't just strap him to the hood. So you, so, <clears throat> well, you could, I suppose. I guess you can, but. <laughs> Wait, so you rented it with the car seat as part of the deal. For sure. Yes. You know, so my husband gets there and the person at the budget rental car, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm angry at them now. Well, it, it's, it's in the name. Yeah, it's I mean, I guess right. I like, it is, yeah. it is budget. And uh, I just didn't think it would be a full blown experience like that. But um, the person was like, we don't have any car seats. And uh -huh. then my husband was like, oh, okay. The, they, they said that like there would be one. And she was like, well, they're not. Uh -huh. And he's like, Okay, and she's like, do you, do you still want the car? <laughs> Holding the baby. He didn't, he, he was like, well, the reason why I have the car seat is just because like a baby will go in it. It's not like for yeah. me, like it's not like my preference. Like that's not like how I ride around. <laughs> Like rear facing, oh. just like. And you don't sit in a booster either? Yeah, you no. know, weirdly, he and I don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and it just, and it was like this tragedy unfolding, and I was sitting on the, the tarmac, and I had been like, I'm gonna be good on this flight, I'm gonna snooze, I'm gonna take a sleep, yeah. just a nice long sleep, and wake up and be refreshed. And yeah. like, I'm getting these texts being like, they don't have a car seat, I need you to uh, call an Uber from your phone to get a car seat from your friend to bring the thing. And I oh was like, I will have that Bloody Mary. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, so did it all work out? You guys came together? What we happened? had to take the train home to Massachusetts, which I think is kind of delightful, but then again. So no Uber, that didn't happen? The Uber brought the car seat, but then, oh, then she wouldn't give my husband the car because his strip was worn out. On, his on the credit, credit card? card? Yeah. I know. This I is, guess by the way, this is why I don't have children. What's that? This is why I don't have children. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's like a, it's a nightmare that's also incredibly boring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, way to go, budget. You guys nailed it. <laughs> well, we you got guys nailed that. it. Happy well, Father's Day. <laughs> we're gonna come back and we're gonna have more with Jenny Slate after this. Please stick around. I got an LED flashlight in case the power goes out. You just gotta step on it like this, see? See how it's like, whoa, sorry. I'm a little stand right in front of it. Finally, this is the sparkler. What you do is you light this end on fire and then you step back. This can act as a flare, all right? What would I need? That's if you need a signal for help. And Dean's gonna leave you his phone just in case. What? No, no. We'll see the flare. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, why don't we just put the colander over you now if you want? <laughs> How's that? You must let me out of here. <laughs> I love it. Welcome back. I'm here with Jenny Slate. So wait, Jenny, um, I'm like the rest of the world when I first saw it. By the way, 
What year was the first time you put out a video? I think it was, did you put it right on YouTube? It was 2010, and I believe that we put it on Vimeo, and I didn't know what that was. Well, I still don't. Oh. I think it's to pay each other back and forth, right? That's Venmo. Ah. <laughs> Very good. But, and let me also say a side note. One time I was like in Iceland in a volcanic bath. As one finds. Why not? And, um, you know, I was in the movie Venom, um, but a person came up to me and they said, again, people have only like half an idea of what I do. He said, I loved you in Venmo. <laughs> And I was oh, like, really? yeah, that like $14.99 request. <laughs> but wait a minute, Marcel the Shell. So yes. 2010, I, like the rest of the world, became obsessed with it. I think it was the most clever, funny, charming, sweet thing I'd ever seen. And when, so when did you create the character? You created, you co-created it, right? Yes. And how long ago did you start making this movie? So I co-created it with Dean Fletcher Camp, who is the director and, and co-writer. Yeah. And, um, we, you know, the character like kind of emerged out of a weekend when we were like stuck in a hotel room sharing a room with like four other people because we were all kind of trying to save money. Yeah. And I was like really squished in. And I started just being like, I'm so annoyed. Like, and just and so, like, so, wait, yeah. can I just say something? Mm. I've been obsessed with people who do voices like face to face who I've only heard. Oh, yeah. Can you do it one more time? What do you want me to say? <laughs> Why this? Otherwise, I can't hear it. What's that? Otherwise, I can't hear it. Oh, really? Yeah. That, I'm, I'm obsessed with that. That's crazy. Hey. Wait, so, seven, so it took how long to film it? Um, it took seven years. Why? Um, I know. Everyone's like, oh! Um, <laughs> that's art. You know, um, no, because... Um, <laughs> God, have you guys ever heard about art? Um, um, because, so the, the film, um, first we recorded all of the audio. Yeah. It was recorded, um, like, improvised off of, like, a big, long document, like, that said what we thought would happen. Yeah. But then we improvised, and we were like, oh, actually, probably the story should change. And so Dean and our co-writer, Nick Paley, would, like, go through that audio and write more scenes, and then we would record those and improvise more, and then they would go through it again. And yeah. it was, like, a years-long process of just locking that audio play. Wow. Then they did the then live they, action. Okay. Then they did the stop motion. Wow. And it's amazing cast. Yeah. Uh, Isabella Rossellini. Oh, yeah. Which makes me want to have pasta. Big time. She, she, how did you why her, even though she's amazing, but what, what came to mind to think of her to cast as your um, a grandma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nana Connie. Yeah. Um, we wanted someone who had a distinctive voice or an accent. One of my grandmothers has an accent. Yeah. Um, and we just thought that would be... Um, really special. And yeah. anyway, I think that her agents told her about the project. She didn't know what Marcel the Shell was, but I think her children said, like, sure. oh, this is cool. But, like, she just showed up at our rental on in Silver Lake, at, where we were recording okay. part, part of it. And, like, it truly is, like, Isabella Rossellini. At the, I mean, we knew she was coming. Yeah. She wasn't like, hello. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> she wasn't Can selling something. Can you imagine? Some. <laughs> like, if you just open your door and it's, like, the most glamorous, like, chic person in the world. But anyway, yeah. so she showed up and she just jumped right in. And it was, like, it was really, really hard to keep our cool. Wow. Yeah, well, she's, yeah. she's amazing in she's it. Incredible. You're amazing in it. Um, and then 60 Minutes, uh, 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 what's her name? Leslie Stahl. Uh, Leslie Stahl. Yeah. She's, in, she's actually in the movie. Oh, she's in the movie. Talking to Marcel the Shell. Yes, she How is. did you make that happen? Our producer. Because they're very serious over there, I think. They're so serious. And we were yeah. like, we had improvised that it's going to be 60 minutes. Yeah. And then we were like, we're never going to get this. We're never yeah. going to clear this. Yeah. And our producer, Liz, knew one of their producers. And, like, she made it so that Leslie and an entire 60-minute crew showed up. That's incredible. And Leslie interviewed me. I was sitting on the floor. She um, she had her eye line down there. Then they you know they comped in Marcel. She was sitting on the floor. I was sitting on the floor. Oh, oh yeah. no, we never made Leslie Stahl story. sit on the floor. It's a better story if Leslie's sitting on the floor. I, I don't think. She, no. Just say it was Leslie sitting on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get an angry email. <laughs> well, it's it's so great. I mean, I for years I was like when I'd watch it on YouTube, I'd be like, why isn't this more? Like I want more. And here we are. And now I know why it took seven years. Yeah. It is so worth the wait, you guys. The movie is so great. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. Marcel the Shell with Suzanne opens in New York and LA Friday, nationwide July 15th. We'll be right back with Super Rice. <laughs>